find it interesting that when a lot of when a lot of black Americans see me, right? When a lot of black Americans see me, especially now that I left New York, right? I'm not in New York no more. I'm out here in middle America. 90% of black Americans that see me when they see me, they're very enthusiastic. And they see the they see the roots, the bongo roots, man. You know, and they hear they, they hear some good conscious reggae music playing. So they approach my vehicle, very enthusiastic, bright bright face. And the first question is, "Are you Jamaican?" With such you know enthusiasm, like, "Are you Jamaican?" As soon as I say no, they look defeated, deceived, hurt, disappointed, and no longer interested. The, the question is the question is rarely ever, are you a Rasta man? It's always are you a Jamaican? So yeah, we 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 know the history, well. Those of us who know the history know the history and know that it it, it, it it expands and expounds way beyond Jamaica. But it's looked at overall as a Jamaican culture. It's a Jamaican identity. You know, a lot of times, even when people uh, uh, are not dreadlock, but some Americans, once they hear the accent on a ball head eating a pork chop, they'll still call them a Ras because of the accent. So like Jamaica and, and, and Rasta is like synonymous to the world. And it's like, when, you, when the first question is, are you Jamaican? Not are you a Rasta man, are you Jamaican? Then they look at you like, they look at you like you rocking somebody else's culture. You know, they look at me like as if I'm, I'm a nigga with a sombrero on or some shit, or, or, or a nigga with a kilt. That's how they look at a lot of lot, 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 lot of, of the ones who are, you know, who are American or whatever or whatever. You know, <laughs> a lot of times they look at us the same the same way we look at white folks be with, with, with dreads. They're like, why are you rocking another man's culture? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's not the dreads. I guess it's so much. I guess it's. I guess it's. I guess it's the locked up beard. And because I mean, I don't think dreads are automatically associated with Rasta anymore. You know, everybody got dreads now, so I, I think it's more so the beard in the music. When they hear the beard in the music, I'm supposed to be Jamaican, you know? Hey, I didn't know I was supposed to be Jamaican. Um. Well, I guess I kind of did know that that's what I was supposed to be to a lot of people, but no, 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 no. <laughs> it's amazing how the the, the, the the conversation never goes beyond that question, though. Once that's the first question and the answer is no, they, they, they just walk away. You know, people who, who start off with a different question usually, you know, continue into, into some type of build. But the ones that the first the first question is, are you Jamaican? It just be the disappointment on their face that I find hilarious. That's the funny part. The the the, the, the it, it's sad that, that you know that we're limited. But you know, ones don't you know what you can't knock the one for what they don't know. But it's funny when I see the the, the their face just drop and they just like oh, <laughs> and they just walk away. Like, sometimes they'll, they'll ask like you know, well, oh, like, like I had this one guy, true funny story, right? So this 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 guy, I, I actually you know I I know his um I grew up with his son, you know, we got, we got Haitian, you know Haitian brothers, right? So um so he's working with me for years at the taxi stand. And one day he's happened to be in the office and he hears me talking to somebody else about my childhood. And he says to me, you grew up here in America? I said, yeah. I said, I know, I know your son. I went to school with your son Rodney. You know Rodney? You went to school with Rodney? You, you, you American? Then, then why you look like that? <laughs> your man said, then why 
why you look like that? <laughs> yo, for real, yo. So they're like, nah, it don't make sense. Why would why would an, why would an American walk around looking like that? Yeah, so it's just, just a little humor in the morning. Give thanks for life, you know. Sunrise, sunshine, summer's here. Full joy in it. Yeah. Fruit is around. Give thanks. Give thanks. So. Yeah, that was just a funny story because it just happened. So it just made me think of that. I just wanted to share with my people real quick. Yeah, give thanks.